Alright Neckbeards, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to maintain your standard issue fedora. You will eat with it, you will sleep with it, you will give it a name. Or, you can just do what I say and you'll have a well formed fedora. Let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so before we get too far into this, let's go ahead and take a look at what we're working with today. So what I have is a fedora hat shaped into a safari hat. This came uh, shaped pretty similar to this. The crown was a little bit taller. I lowered the crown a little bit and I just kind of shaped it to me a little bit but it still pretty much has that safari sort of outback western look and that's something just quick little rant. The little cowboy hats these Stetsons people wear those weren't western hats. You know the west was worn by people wearing bowlers and fedoras. There's a snake in my boots. So what do I want to change about this hat? Does it not look nice as it is? Well, the problem is it doesn't look very fedora-ish right now. It looks more western hat-ish like I was just talking about. This is what you'll see in your Clint Eastwood westerns. You'll see these. You'll see your gambler hats which are flat on top with a round crease. This has a teardrop crease in it. And then you've got your, um, what are they called? Uh, your bowler hats. Your bowler hats. Alright, so Right now, this is shaped like that. What I want to do is I want to turn this into a snap brim fedora. And that may, you may be like, John, how am I supposed to do that with this floppy, floppy wool hat? Floppy, as Trump would say. What we're going to do is we're going to actually steam this hat. We're going to steam it with an iron, a closing iron, all right, or a closed iron. What is it? It's one of these things. You should have it somewhere. You should have one somewhere in your closet. Maybe you inherited one. If you don't iron your clothes ever, maybe you inherited one. We'll go ahead and we're going to be taking the steam function on this. This little steam, we're going to set so it's constantly producing steam. And we're going to just steam the brim. And we're going to take it and we're just going to press it and form it into a snap brim fedora. In fact, probably what I'll do is I'll steam the bottom here. And I'll take it and I'll press it down. And when I press down, it will snap this brim right up. And it'll form a nice strong crease right along where the band is. And then we'll have a snap brim fedora. It won't be a real strong snap, but it will be a snap brim. And we can wear it with it flipped up or with the front flipped down like you would a normal fedora. So, let's go ahead and get into it. Let me dry this off. My iron has a bit of a leak in it. So i got to clean that up. Get out of here. Get out of town. Look at that. This thing's throwing water everywhere. There's a snake in my boot. All right, iron is plugged in. Still leaking water everywhere. Most of your irons will have some sort of indicator or something like that that is up to temperature. So you can set your temperature. In my case, I'm gonna set it up to cotton. That's the highest temperature you can get on these things. Uh, don't set it on wool because you're not actually gonna be making contact with the hat. You're just gonna be steaming the hat up above it. So you want to get nice and hot and you want to have enough heat that we can produce a good mist of steam. That being said, you want to make sure that you do not at any point touch the hat to the bottom of the iron at the high temperature because you could sear the hairs if you let it touch too long. So just uh, giving you guys a little note of that. So be very careful with this while you're doing this. You might burn your hat. All right, so let's go ahead. I think we are up to temperature. Is our indicator right? There it is. Let's see. See what we got going. Oh yeah, and we're gonna put it on self-clean mode. There we go. We got some steam coming out. And we're ready to start shaping. I'm excited for this. I'm gonna have a fedora now. Working on the back first. Pop her. Set her down. And you see we've got that rim. It's popping up real nice in the back now. We got a real nice strong pop out of this thing. We've got a pop starting in the back here, kinda. It's not wanting to stay up, that's what she said. All right, so we're gonna go at it again and this may take a few tries. And you're gonna get some water on your hat if your iron has a leak like mine does. Look, this thing's just dripping water. I gotta get a new iron. And down she goes. All right, let's work around the sides. Oh yeah, we're getting that shape to it. Check that out. Oh man, can you feel it? We're almost done. We're shaping the front. This hat's not gonna pop up all the way around. It's not gonna stay popped all the way around. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Straight from Humphrey Bogart. Anyway guys, 
That's pretty much all there is to it. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave it a like down below and subscribe to me if you want to see more videos like this from me where I sit down and I show you stuff and I review stuff. And I will see you in the next one. Later.